Why 30 years? The short answer, it's a global climate standard. These averages get recalculated every decade, so this latest data tells us what the weather's been like in Portland between 1990 and 2020. The start of the wet season and the end of the wet season is going to be more pronounced and we're going to have more of a dry, warm summer. In the latest weather service data, our summer temperatures are up one full degree and our slim summer rainfall got even slimmer. The PDX average total rainfall for July and August is now just over an inch for 62 days. We have actually been seeing the fingerprints of climate change in our water supply system for a while now. But the Water Bureau says Portland is uniquely positioned to adapt. Our short and long term climate insurance policy is having those two water supplies. Most of Portland's water comes from the Bull Run Reservoir. In the drier summer months, that gets supplemented from the Columbia South Shore well. An earlier end of the wet season means an earlier draw from the well. Still, demand is actually decreasing. We have such great water conservation ethic amongst our customers in Portland. So um, they're doing a great job using water wisely and efficiently. Like letting your lawn go dormant in the summer. What's increasing? The demand for power because of warmer temperatures and more air conditioning. In 1990, only about a third, less than a third of our customers had air conditioning of one sort or another. Now we're north of 80%. This comes as PGE pushes fast toward clean energy. We are actively engaged in reducing greenhouse gas emissions from our system. That's a, a commitment that we've made to be at net zero emissions by 2040. The, the warming trends are kind of a, an in-your-face indicator of what we're, what we're seeing. But that takes a longer term and more comprehensive effort, ultimately, to, to reduce the impact of climate change. Chris McGinnis, KGW News.